You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, during which His Majesty was reassured by about his health following the successful medical checkups he had undergone abroad. His Majesty King Hamad prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness the Prime Minister with abundant health, wishing him a safe return home. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the noble feelings, wishing His Majesty the King continued health. A telephone call was held between the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jambar Al Sabah, and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, during which the Emir of Kuwait congratulated His Royal Highness on the successful results of the medical examinations, wishing His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued health. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanked the Emir of Kuwait for his brotherly sentiments, wishing him continued health, and to the Kuwaiti people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty, the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian, His Majesty, the King's representative for the National Security Advisor, and the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the winners of the National Day Horse to Race Tournament. The tournament witnessed the attendance of first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the tournament has been a success thanks to the participation of the horsemen and the stables, whose performance His Highness praised. His his Highness also praised the efforts of BRIEF under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah and the members of its board along with the committees that organized the race. His Highness congratulated the winners of the top three spots and their performance as well. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad and His Highness Sheikh bin Rashid for their continuous support. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah affirmed that the success of the tournament will provide everyone with an incentive to achieve further success in the future.
In the presence of the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative for the Charity Work and Youth Affairs National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the seventh race meeting of the season in Rafah Sakhir. It was held for the cups of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his sons Sheikh Faisal and Sheikh Abdullah and the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Regional Equestrian for a Special Olympics Cup. The race was also attended by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, President of the Royal Bahrain Equestrian Federation, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nader bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al rumehi and horse racing fans. The race comprised seven events. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa and his sons presented the cups to the winners. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa also presented the cups of the winners of the Khalid bin Hamad Regional Equestrian Special Olympics.
A race was also held for the National Day Cup sponsored by the Ministry of Information Affairs for the distance of 2,400 meters. At the end of the race, the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al Rumehi, presented the National Day Cup to Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman al Khalifa. The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf, opened the 8th edition of the Bahrain's Farmer Market in Budaya Garden. The, in the presence of the Deputy of Farming and Marine Resources, Nabil Abu al-Fath, and the representative of the National Initiative to Develop the Agricultural Sector and Temkin. The Minister announced initiatives to preserve and develop the agricultural parts of the Kingdom and said that these efforts are intended to encourage local produce to allow it to compete in the local market. The Minister said that the Ministry offers training courses in agriculture and offers other forms of support to Bahraini farmers and added that citizens and residents are keen on local produce as evidenced by the activity of the farmers market each Saturday. On this note, the Secretary General for the National Initiative for the Agricultural Sector, Sheikh Maram bin Ta'isa Al Khalifa, said that the farmers market has become one of the main national events in the kingdom and affirmed that farmers enjoy the support of the National Initiative, which aims to translate the vision and aspirations of Her Royal Highness, His Majesty the King's wife, and to offer employment opportunities for the youth. A parliamentary delegation attended the Asian Parliamentary Assembly's meeting in Turkey today where it discussed the organization's Executive Council's decisions on a variety of political, economic and social issues. At the meeting, the head of the Bahraini delegation, Councilman Ahmed Sabah Saloum, affirmed rejection of all attempts to undermine the sovereignty of countries and also affirmed full support for Palestinian rights. The delegation is set to continue its participation in discussing the various issues on the agenda over the next two days, which will reinforce multilateral cooperation between Asian parliaments. On the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's national celebrations on the 16th and 17th of December in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al fatah in 1783, the 48th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the 20th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations held a reception at the United Nations headquarters there. The permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations, Ambassador Jamal Faris Arwai, received the attendees celebrating this special national occasion. During his remarks on the occasion, the permanent representative highlighted how the celebrations this year also coincide with many significant occasions as the Kingdom celebrated this year the 100th anniversary of the start of formal education, noting in this regard the selection of Bahraini women in the field of higher education and future sciences as a theme to celebrate Bahraini Women's Day this year, which is celebrated annually on the December the 1st. The permanent representative also noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain as an Arab Muslim country known for its religious and cultural heritage was the first to embrace churches, cathedrals, Hindu temples and Jewish temples in the region which were built since early 1900s and made available for everyone to practice their religious rites freely. He also commended the Bahrain national football team for its victory, for its victory in the Gulf Cup. The ceremony was attended by senior officials of the United Nations, ambassadors, delegates of permanent missions to the UN and a number of Bahraini citizens in addition to a number of invitees from various organizations internationally and globally.
The embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain held a reception in Vienna, the Republic of Austria, on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain celebration of its national holidays. The residing ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Austria, Dr. Yusuf Abdelkarim Bouchiri, and his wife received, along with members of the embassy invitees who participated in the celebration. During his speech on this occasion, the ambassador expressed happiness for holding this reception for the first time since the establishment of bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Austria, which was established on May of 1975, which is considered a historical event and a milestone in the development and growth of the bilateral relations between the two countries. In this context, the ambassador also pointed out to the Kingdom of Bahrain's long history of diplomatic relations, which were characterized by its balance, objectivity and cooperation, as the Kingdom celebrates this year the Golden Jubilee of Bahraini diplomacy. He also noted the celebration of Bahraini Women's Day on the 1st of December of each year and the active participation of Bahraini women in the reform process and sustainable development at the national level. The ambassador pointed to the growth-positive cooperation between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations, in particular the United Nations office in Vienna and dynamic constructive relations. The embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Indonesia held a celebration ceremony to celebrate the Kingdom of Bahrain's national day. The ceremony was held at the Four Seasons Hotel in Jakarta in the presence of the Minister of Cooperatives and of Small and Medium Enterprises, Dr. Tetan Mastuki. The ceremony was also attended by the Deputy Speaker of the People's Consultative Assembly of Indonesia, Arsul Sani, the former Foreign Minister, Dr. Alwi Shihab, the Chief of the Sharia Court within the framework of the Indonesian Supreme Court, the Director for Middle East Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ashmad Rizal Pornama, Arab and foreign ambassadors, diplomats and invited guests. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates on the 14th of December every year, the Bahraini Police Day, which sheds light on the distinguished efforts made by the policemen to maintain public security and protect the lives and property of citizens and residents around the clock tirelessly. In addition to the great sacrifices made by the Ministry of Interior's affiliates, the police have made many achievements in various fields, the most important of which is lowering crime rates and negative phenomena in the society. The Bahraini Police is a model of community partnership, a concept launched by the Ministry of Interior, which aims to strengthen the relationship between between members of the police, citizens and residents. Bahrain Nur al Ain Festival on the occasion of the National Day for the Kingdom of Bahrain and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne under the patronage of Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim al Dosari, the member of the House of Representatives, and Mr. Mohammed Saad al Dosari, member of the Municipal Council Northern Government, the Third District, had held the festival located in Bodega Beach Coast Walkway for th from 3 until 10 in the evening. The festival includes traditional and entertainment activities, children's face coloring, theater, and extensive participation of productive local family products. We are happy today for National Day. We organize for this uh, activity. Me and uh, Mr. Mohammed Adosiri, member of Council of the North, and uh, the activity by name is uh, Bahrain Nur Ain. Bahrain Nur Ain, it means Eye of Bahrain. And uh, we are happy on this uh, month because this month is National Day. And also on this month, on 8 December, Bahrain National team win the Gulf 24. I have a small business here, which is called Caffeine Plus Plus. We are serving different kind of drinks and coffees here. Uh, and we are celebrating here today the National Day of Bahrain, as well as winning of the championship of the Gulf for our uh, champion team, Bahrain. So we are very happy today, and everyone is happy here. Uh, so we hope uh, that uh, everyone will join us in this event and uh, uh, to uh, celebrate with us here. Today we are here gathering in the beach Budaya. Uh, we have a minute. We have a medical camp here. We are doing for the baby and the sugar and the free coupons we have. It is very nice weather. Very nice day. Just join us. Before we end the news, here's a reminder of our top stories. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning announces the launch of a number of initiatives to preserve the green space in the Kingdom. And the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates the Bahraini Police Day, which sheds light on the efforts and sacrifices made by police.